Everybody still here, South and Drive? We staying warm? It's about to get a lot hotter in this parking lot, I'll tell you that much. Once again, I can't stress enough how we would not be able to be here were it not for the generous support of our sponsors, West Six, U.S. Bank, these fine, fine people here from Ballast Wealth Planning, uh, as well as anybody else get to check out the sculptures here from LexArts? Can we get, get, get some love for that? And then an even bigger one for all the sponsors as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, give some love to the sponsors that have us here. Make some noise. <laughs> Truly, this next gentleman requires no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm very, very excited to announce for the first time on a tall sound stage, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Lacey. Yay, hey, how's it going? Everybody doing all right? I'll give, show some love to the deeply nourished roots one time. They killed it. My boy Wendell Rogers. That's my brother right there. This, is a, this dude's like just a local musical icon and a mentor to many of us. So he's been a, uh, a vibrant part of the local music scene since I don't want to date you, Wendell. How long? <laughs> for a while. Let's just say for a while. Whether he's just crushing it with Groovezilla or just whatever, man. Just Wendell Wendell's the, is the dude, so. Speaking of the dude, <clears throat> I got elected to uh, to represent or attempt to play a little Van Halen for y'all today, which I consider an extreme honor. Yeah, we lost one of the great, well, we lost, in my opinion, the greatest rock and roll guitarist of all time, Eddie Van Halen. He's just, uh, wow. I don't even know, it's, just, it's hard to even come up with words. I've been putting stuff on Facebook all week about him and like practically crying because he was like a big part of my childhood. So if you hear me play solo guitar sometimes, you probably, you wouldn't think that maybe Eddie was my dude, but he was very clearly my dude. Eddie was, was the man, straight up. And by the way, nobody, Nobody really nails Van Halen other than Eddie Van Halen, <laughs> including myself. So this is going to be, uh, this ought to be fun. <clears throat> I actually wrote down a couple of tunes so I wouldn't be totally by the, flying by the seat of my pants. How's this sound out there, everybody? That sound okay? Damn, that is fat. That sounds good up here. I know that. So hopefully the fingers will cooperate on this, but you know what? I'm gonna change something up just a smidge. I, I was thinking maybe going like through each album and playing some of the, just the iconic riffs and the licks and solos and stuff, which I still wanna do, but uh, just to kind of get myself moving on kind of a mid-level VH tune and just have some fun. I'm gonna start a little bit later, actually. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go with a little 1984. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah. yeah. That was a damn good year. I think I was a not to date myself, too. Ni 1984, I think I'm in like eighth grade, maybe? Something like that. I'm old. Something like eighth grade or something. So that was quite a long time. <laughs> I'm guessing eighth grade. I don't know. Well, we used to hear stuff like this all the time in 1984, and it was uh, quite inspiring. <laughs>
stage for you one time. That's called Panama one time. <laughs> that may or may not have been a few of my own little things at the end of that song. <laughs> Hold on one second. The strings are trying to acclimate to the outdoors here. I remember Panama? I know y'all remember Panama. Come on now. Come on now. My memory of that video is Eddie. There's one shot of Eddie playing the piano in that, and Valerie's sitting in the back with like her hand on her chin. She looks bored to death. Eddie's playing piano, just took a puff off of smoke and blew, blows the big smoke rings. Anybody remember that part of the video? <laughs> like a classic guitar trick from the 70s where like if you play a D chord it's going to be an adventure so if you play a D chord and you want to go to a G instead of doing it old school like that D down here, and then you Keith Richards it, and you go. So you go D. So then you got you know hints like uh, what's like start me up. And of course, everyone took that, but uh, Eddie did it on the first album, like the opening track of the album. So you go. most underrated thing about Eddie, his swing ability. Check this out. Most people go like this. Eddie goes like this. You hear the difference between the two? So you got standardized. Eddie goes. The reason he's so brutal is because of his swing. So on that first record, there's a song called I'm the One. Remember that jam? I'm the one. That's on Van Halen One. That's my favorite record. And uh, some of the ideas that I wrote down because I don't want to miss some stuff. They just blew away, so I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> well, there's things I want to touch on, you know, since we're doing this. Oh, you're the man. Thank you, kind sir. This way I won't skip over something important.
to Eddie here. So, on a guitar, if you go 12 frets up, you get something called a harmonic. So you get, you go right over top of the fret wire without actually fretting it, but just lightly touching it, you'll produce a harmonic. So it takes, so if I got an open E, and then a, har a harmonic on the 12th fret E, it takes it an octave up, so. So what Eddie figured out was no matter where he fretted a note, if he goes 12 frets up from wherever his left hand is fretting, so I'm on the second fret. So if he goes 12 up, uh, 12 and 2 is 14. So if he goes to 14. Get a harmonic there. Let me pull my sleeve up so you can actually hear it. So wherever he frets, 12 frets up makes a harmonic. So if we go to Van Halen 2, and we get a classic hit tune called Dance the Night Away. Anybody remember that? Yeah. This is fun. I'm getting kind of uh, guitar nerdy here, but it's all right. So you get a riff like this. And the classic Eddie suspended chord. So here's like an E major chord. Eddie likes to take that third and raise it up a half step to a fourth, so it's called a suspended fourth. So you hear that all over his riffs, and, and this is no exception here. So we'll see. One time for you, and you can. That was kind of evident in that where you, you see he's hitting 12 frets up with the, in those artificial harmonics. Sorry about the tuning. That's all over Van Halen too, by the way. What's the? Uh, I should have wish I had my acoustic here with me. I don't know if I can imitate this or not on electric. But I think my action's too high. Hold on. fly one time for it. That'd be better on acoustic, actually. <laughs> oh, we got all kinds of finger tapping and, uh, happening and harmonics, 12 frets up. How are you? What's up? <laughs> I don't know if we'll, we might be able to get to that today. I don't know if we'll get to that today, but we'll try. Somebody get me a doctor, baby.
Now we're moving into fair warning, so now we got a drop D. By request, Mr. Wendell. It's actually my favorite Van Halen record. It's the fourth record. And uh, I think their dad passed away somewhere around that time, too, and Eddie was real depressed. So that album's like a lot heavier. It's got the drop D tuning, and everything's like super duper heavy. Actually, one of my favorite tunes. I don't really know how to play great. I can probably fake it, but. favorite tunes on there is a song called Hear About It Later, which when I was a kid and that video would come on MTV, I, would, I wouldn't be any happier in that moment ever than when that video came on, but it was live too, so that's the one where it's like a melodic intro, it's like... Down, which is actually the killer record.
Dope Diver down for you one time. I'm going to move on up to 1984. Harmonics. This is actually one of my favorites off the record, actually. with this one right here. Thank you all very much for having me play out here. Just now I get warmed up. Actually. I'm going to turn it up just a smidge on this one. All right, here we go. One, one for the road, one for the road. Thank you. 
Thank you all very much. You have a great night. A little Eddie, a little Eddie shout out one time. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Appreciate it. Well, Ben Lacey. Thank you, man. Thank you all so much. Uh, thank you all so much for sticking around. We have got, we've got even more music. I know your minds are blown, but we're going to continue to blow those minds musically. We've got letters of acceptance coming up here in just a second. Be sure to grab yourself a drink from our friends over there at West Six. Stop by and see our friends over here at Oracle continuing to do their live painting. And I want to give a shout out to Anagram Sound. The uh, wheelers over here, Chris and Allie, are going to be presenting everything that we've seen here released on our Facebook. Go ahead and visit our Facebook. Like and tag everyone that you can, every sponsor, every bit of exposure that we as a festival can give to these groups, to these sponsors, to these organizations. is just you helping in that little way. It's just that easy. Stick around. We've got letters of acceptance in just a minute. 